Have you faced shame, disgrace, and embarrassment in your life? Have people looked down on you and said you amount to nothing? Have you ever been dishonored? Do not get discouraged because the Lord is setting a table before you. For a table to be set before you, it means you are important and special. It shows respect and honor. And the interesting part is that God is the one that is personally setting this table for you. It does not matter what people have said about and concerning you. The Lord God will honor you and all those that have looked down at you will be put to shame. The table that God is setting for you will be seen by all those that have humiliated and mocked you. Because the Bible says in Psalms 23 that I, the Lord, will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. You may have passed through many trials and temptations in life that have made you so tired of life, but God will give you rest. You know it is a thing of joy after having a long stressful day, and then you come home and meet the table all set. You will be delighted and the stress will disappear. That is what God is doing for you. So do not feel bad because the day is bad or because there has been a huge disappointment from people you thought were going to help you out. Just be positive because there is a table already being set and waiting for your arrival. Everything you need is on that table. God knows just what you need to make you strong and satisfied. He will give it to you. If you have ever been thirsty before, for a long time, and then someone offers you a cup of water. At that point, you will be so happy as if a million was given to you. That is what God is going to do for you. It takes someone that is special for a table to be set for them. This means that God loves and values you so much that he left everything he is doing just to set a table for you, to honor you before men. That is why you should never think or feel that God has neglected you or does not love you because he does. You are the apple of his eye. He created you in his image and likeness because of the love he has for you. Challenges may come, failure and disappointment may come, but you should not lose hope because you know that there is a special table being set specifically for you and awaiting for your arrival. One of the major issues you face as a believer is that you allow your present problems and challenges make you forget your reward and the promise God has made to you. Take the story of Joseph in the Bible. Joseph as a young boy had already seen that he was going to be great in life. In his dreams, God had already showed him that the moon and stars were bowing down before him. But did you see the numerous challenges Joseph had to face. He was sold by his own brothers and taken as a slave in a foreign land. When things were becoming a bit easy for him, his master's wife set him up because he refused to sleep with her, and so he was sent to jail. Joseph would have given up on the promise of God for his life. He would have called God a liar because it looked like all what God said about him was not coming to pass. Instead, it has been from one challenge to another. However, God in the end prepared a table before him. All those, especially his brothers, that sought his downfall came and fell at his feet. Joseph became a prime minister in a foreign land. Is this not a perfect table that God set before him? Of course it is. That is why you should not allow your present challenges to distract you from focusing on the reward that the Lord has in store for you. Your time will surely come, so hold on a little longer. Trust God, even when there is no sign that things are getting better. It does not take God anything to change the whole life of a man in a single minute. God has not forgotten about you. His time is always perfect, and I am so much convinced that at the right time, God will turn your story around for your good. Weeping may last for the night, but do not forget that joy will definitely come in the morning. You will have a reason to smile again in the name of Jesus. Just like Joseph, God may have revealed to you in your dreams
dream that you will become great. Servants of God may have also confirmed it that your life will be great and you have put your trust in God. But later in life, you may discover that your dreams and reality is conflicting. Like there is no correlation between your dreams and what is really happening in your life. You might even think that maybe it was not God that made all those promises to you. Beloved, as Christians and children of God, you live by faith and not by sight. If Joseph had lived by sight, he would not have fulfilled the plans and purpose of God for his life. Likewise, you, if you only believe what you see, you will not be able to enjoy the mystery of God, and you will not be able to please God, because the scripture says, without faith, no one can please God. God is setting a table for you this day. You will no longer remember the hurt and pain you have experienced, because what is on that table is far greater and better than what you have experienced. It is more than what you can imagine, because eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and neither has the heart of man conceived that which God will do for those that love him. He will make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Your enemies will get envious of you, because God will prepare a table for you in their presence, and they will wish they were in your shoes. Trust me, it is indeed a great gain to believe and serve the Lord. However, you need to understand that before the Lord will be able to prepare a table for you, you have to be for Him. By this, I mean that your life has to be acceptable in His sight. The Lord cannot wine and dine with a sinner. This is because He is a God that is too holy to behold sin. Therefore, is there any part of your life that you know that God is not pleased with? It is time to submit your life totally to the Lord Jesus. God will not force himself on you. He is not a dictator. But you will be at the receiving end if you are not on his side. Of a truth, I have come to understand that life is indeed worthless without Jesus. Do not allow the devil to make you feel that your sin is too great for God to forgive. The Bible says, even though your sins are as black as charcoal, the Lord will make it as white as snow. Now after you have made your ways right before God, you have to maintain a good relationship with the Lord. You know being born again is one thing, but staying born again is another thing. So many people just say it, but they still go back to living a sinful life. I understand that staying holy in this generation seems difficult, but when you are determined in your heart and through the help of the Holy Spirit, you will overcome. And this can be possible if you are grounded in the Word of God. Spend quality time to know God's Word because that is your weapon of warfare. It is the roadmap that will give you directions on how to live a holy and righteous life for Christ. So many Christians want to know more about Christ, but they are lazy to spend quality time to study and communicate with Him. It pays to serve God. You have to do away with the flesh if you must be with Jesus, because the flesh and the spirit are always in conflict. And if you allow the flesh to get a better hold of you, you are headed for destruction. God is setting a table for you today. The devil will not stand as a hindrance in your way of eating from that table. Your life will never remain the same from today in the name of Jesus. There's absolutely nothing that is difficult for the Lord to do. He will make a way where there seems to be no way for you. He is causing light to shine in your darkness. Your life will become a living testimony in the name of Jesus. All those that have disappointed and turned their backs on you will come back to celebrate you because God is going to elevate you beyond your wildest imagination. Therefore, I urge you to stay strong and hold on a little longer. The Lord is setting a table before you this day.